we uh, have always taken a view that, uh, you know, I'm fully in support of food banks and what they do. I think that's part of what society does when it thinks there's an issue or a problem. I think it's excellent. Uh, but what we've always said is that wherever there are cases that are identified as issues where people might go to the food bank because of what they perceive to be a problem in the department, uh, then we'll always pick those up. We've increased uh, as a result of the requirement. <coughs> we looked again at things like hardship funds and advanced payments. Advanced payments are much more appetised than every single job centre. Uh, we ensure that all the advisors uh, tell everybody categorically, you know, whatever's happening, you are eligible for these particular payments, hardship payments as well. Um, that's something that I'm also uh, just trialling at the moment, which the committee will not be aware of. I haven't said anything about it before, but I will perhaps give this to the committee this time. Um, I was visited by a particular food bank um, uh, before the summer break to talk about some of the issues about delivering uh, uh, food uh, and some of the problems with individuals that turn up and say they have a problem with their payments. Uh, I am trying at the moment a, um, a job advisor, a job advisor situating themselves in the food bank for the time that the food bank is open. Uh, and uh, we're already getting very strong feedback about that, where they'll be able to check if somebody comes in and says, I haven't got a payment or I haven't received this, they can immediately check. I can ask parents to say a word about some of the results of this so far. And if this works, and if the other food banks are willing to encompass this and we think it works, I think we'd like to roll this out across the whole of the UK.